Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of The Shadow of War. Alright, when we left off, we were, uh, not in Saragost. We were finishing off the Bruise missions, which had us in Kirith Ungol for a bit. If I remember correctly, I, I might be wrong on that. Anyway, we had dealt with Bruise, um, and that's a thing I should show you as well. Um... I have a twisted sixth sense of humor. Um, no, it was actually in Gorgoroth, that's right. And uh, you may notice that uh, Gorgoroth's leadership has changed a little bit to a warmonger tribe by that little symbol there. I uh, captured Bruce and installed him as the overlord. See, he's an overlord now. Finally. After all this time. And I let him. It just, he's very broken now. As he's doing so. And I figured that would probably give some people a frighten. When they come in to uh, attack during an online conquest to then see Bruise broken screaming I never wanted the fort he, it was his fort always his fort as he's also the overlord I'm a sick twisted son of a bitch <laughs> Okay, now that that's out of the way, um, I'm here in Saragost, um, trying to slowly capture my way to this fortress, but um, unfortunately for right now, I can't do that. So, what I'm going to do is slowly take the outpost, slowly build up my army, much like I have done before. And if it, at all possible, I will, you know take precautions to make sure that I win. Or maybe not. I might just do it as a, a toker at one point wanted me to do it, which was to just make it an all-out brawl attack on a fortress. I believe there's only one other fortress, and that one I will do what I wanted to do. Um, that's a little backhandy bullshit, because I love that shit, <laughs> but what I'm probably going to do, considering um, that there's only a couple fortresses left that I can take over, I'm going to make this one the all-out brawl against the War Chiefs with my army, and uh, that one will be fulfilling what I promised Toker I would do, because the last one was me having a bunch of uh, Uruks in as spies as bodyguards to the war chiefs and then apparently that extremely damaged them when the time came <laughs> didn't realize how much damage we would end up doing but it did a lot so yeah um first things first I was gonna finish the uh, rage against the ragers uh, quest that I had up and I was going to do that by going after well this guy over here Zugor the Mad. So I figured, eh, two birds, one stone. Smart to know Up we go. Perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. Just head over there. Man, oh man. These are opulent as shit. Yes, it's me. Also, I'm going over this way. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. And here we are. Let's get this started, shall we? Draw out Zugor the Mad by killing his hunters. Can do. And now the hunt shall end. Yes, it shall. Oh, you might have also noticed uh, with the armor, I have it fully upgraded now. It's uh, now upgraded to the highest level I can possibly get it. As is most of the equipment I'm wearing. The only thing that I haven't been able to get upgraded fully yet is the cloak and that will be done fairly soon I hope 
It involves needing a uh, dragon to uh, get it all done and over with. And uh, that's the problem, is that some people don't have dragons floating in their uh, vendetta missions. So uh, I need to wait on a particular one where that does happen. There we go. Kill him real quick. There we go. There's that. And we're good. Perfect. And that's really the biggest pain about it, is the fact that I'm waiting and relying on something that's rather arbitrary to get this fucking mission done. But I can do it. I've done it before. Whoa. That looked like it hurt. Because it probably did. Okay, here we go. Oh, perfect. All done. Fish leather. You shiny. I can smell the sun. <laughs> you can smell the sun, can you? Well, you're going to also smell my blade very soon. Right in your face. <laughs> Hi there. Pretty sure willow trees can't talk. Okay. Well, mortally flammable soft target. I could use that. And... Oh, you have a blood brother. Grook Eye Gouger. Well, I can expect him to come after me after I finish this. Alright. He's immune to execution, but he is a soft target. I can do that. Yep. And... Yep. And... And... Yep. Oh, boy. Not good. The worms are in my head and they wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And thus you run? Yeah, about that. Whoop. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he ran into a fire. I didn't even need to do anything. <laughs> I was worried he was going to get away. <laughs> but then he just ran into a fire. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Oh, man. That's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, let's just destroy that. Man, I have a lot of Mirian. Oh, hi there! You gotta be careful in Mordor, haven't ya? Uh -huh. You never know who's got a big brother. Keen for revenge. Oh, I knew. And I was expecting you. Hi there. <laughs> there we go. And let's do this. There we go. A wide area of targets. <laughs> nice try. Oh, that's right. He was, uh... He must have been, uh... Weak to poison, huh? I think I saw that, actually. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. He's dead now. Funny that these guys aren't running right now. One would think, after all of that I've pulled, that uh, they'd be trying to run. Okay, let's run away. There we go, that's why. There we go. Nice try. Alright. Okay, let's just finish you off, huh? Fuck you. Beautiful. I honestly never realized how just fucking plentiful Mirian would end up being in the late game. So, kind of surprised. Kind of makes Marauders semi-unnecessary, honestly. Well, I mean, their base is unnecessary. There we go. Because one of their main benefits was, you know, these little treasure troves here. And that just kind of eliminates the usefulness. You don't even really need to do that. Because I'm at like, what, 100,000? Almost near 200,000? It comes to Marion? 
yeah, I'm near, almost near 200,000 when it comes to Marion. I'm set for pretty much the rest of the game, if I recall correctly. Of course, I'm not recalling anything, because this is the first playthrough I've ever made, but I remember talk about if you need, you know, Marion, it would about be 200,000. About be? Be about. That's what I meant. Fucking brain. Alright, fuck it. Away we go! Towards the next outpost. Or, wait. It's this thing. This thing is a thing I need. Hmm. Men and orcs have clashed for centuries. In living memory, the greatest battle between them took place near Long Lake, where men, aided by elves and dwarves, battled the orcs and goblins of Moria. The free folk won the day, and some accounts claim that eagles of the Misty Mountains swooped down onto the battlefield, casting the orcs down from the cliffs and mountains where they stood. Hmm. Seems a fanciful tale. I saw no eagles overhead when Minas Ethel fell, though we did have Talion and his strange powers. We would have welcomed aid from anywhere, even the skies. Yeah, I bet. I'm kind of surprised that uh, if the eagles were willing to do that one, why weren't they willing to help Minas Ethel? Probably because they had the foresight to know that it was a lost cause in the first fucking place and that I was going to take care of it. Maybe. Or maybe they're just proud and didn't want to bother. Either or. The eagles of the Misty Mountains are more than a myth. Perhaps. But I doubt they'd fare well against the drakes I've seen. Well, I mean, you never know. Maybe they'd do better than you think. All right. So, I'm all the way up here, over the fortress. Don't really need to be. Um, there's another lost artifact in the fortress. I guess I could go for that. If I want, if I really want to. Which I do, <laughs> kinda. All right. Be right there. That's what I figured. And whoop! Ha! Beautiful. Go. It's starting tomorrow, Grog. I'll never touch your lips. Yeah, you uh, you say that. I doubt you're really truthful on that. I've never seen a warg, but books Whoa. and traveling hunters have told me plenty. The goblins of the north can ride wargs as the men of Rohan ride horses. Their howls can be heard leagues away, and their senses are keen enough to track even a ranger. What makes a warg truly fearsome is that they hunt in packs of a dozen or more. Mm. Categors are more dangerous, but they travel in smaller numbers. A feeble blessing, that. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I guess that's a little bit of a uh, pelt from a warg, I guess. Wargs. I'm glad they don't range into Mordor. Even a pack of wargs would find survival here difficult. You're not wrong. You're absolutely not wrong. Okay, well, I'm gonna use you to get around. Hi there. And now, you're mine. Okay. What else? Ah, oh, there you are. Another one of you. Hi there. <laughs> and you're phasing into the little pillar there, but that's fine. Whatever. Hi there. <laughs> yeah, about that, buddy. All right. Now you're mine. Okay. So, anything else special over here? No? All right. Let's uh, see the map then. What else do we need to do? Uh, there's a couple missions over here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Some of them, some of them, blurmer Sorry, that was a minor stroke there. <laughs> I, I'm assuming it's minor anyway. I don't smell copper yet. Um, 
Many Gondorians died during the fall of Minas Ethel, but some became prisoners of Sauron's forces. Learn the fates of Idril and Baranor. I should definitely do that. Honestly. I should definitely do that. It just puts me in a closer position to it, so I figure might as well. And now I'm going to drink my coffee. Beautiful. Hey, an online vendetta showed up, finally. All right. Uh, let's mark this off. Good. There are Gondorians who remain in Mordor. They will not survive in Mordor for long. Which is why we're going to help them. Hi there. Hi there. Whoops. Didn't realize that was going to happen. But I'll kill them all. <laughs> Alright. And let's deal with you. Hi there. <laughs> I love doing that. Honestly, it's the best. Hi. <laughs> I'll find whatever's out there. Will ya? I'm right here, bitch. <laughs> Alright, I'll grab that. Come on, guy. I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be... Alrighty then. That was quite a launch, I'll admit. That was impressive. <laughs> I was sitting there going, Oh yeah, this is fine. And then... Boom. It was no longer not. <laughs> okay. It's no longer not. It was no longer fine. That's what I meant to say. God damn it. Brain, function for me, please. All right. Let us find out the fate of Idril and Baranor. The remaining Gondorians must escape Mordor. And they will, with our help. Well, here's hoping, anyway. Ooh, cutscene. Who is that? <gasps> there are oh. oh there. Baronor. Well, hi there. You survived. How did you find me? Oh, it was easy. I just followed the trail of dead orcs. Fair. The Nidral. Did she escape Minas Ethel? We were ambushed. I lost her. Many of our brothers were captured. Some remain in hiding. Mm -hmm. Sauron's armies continue to hunt us. Idril is resourceful. But no one survives in Mordor for long. We have a way out. I just need to find her. And whoever's left. We're gonna help. Then we must find them all. Yeah. Absolutely. Some of our soldiers were sighted in this encampment. Tread right. lightly. We must be careful. Absolutely. Rescue the Gondorians. Oh boy. Well. Just kill him. There we go. That at least clears that up. Oh boy. Well, kill you. <laughs> Throat decided to give out there. And hi there. Ooh. You dead. Oh boy. Wow. That's fucked up to tell to a guy. True or not, that's fucked up. Wow, okay. Oops. Have to be around the back to cut him free, I guess. Thank you kindly, Ranger. I had given up. Well, there's no reason to while I'm here. Alright, let's go up this way. And goodbye. Oh, the other guy ran off. Nice. Hello. Why would I let you live? After the shit you said to that guy? Fuck you. 
These orcs will suffer now. Well, here's hoping anyway. Yep. Hi. <laughs> yes, he is. And you know what else is dead? You. <laughs> And hi there. <laughs> Goodbye, head. All right. Let's uh, let's go get this guy. And hopefully we can find Idril after this. I'm sure there is. Yeah. Something moved. Is it me? <laughs> All right, reach the cave, and that should be hopefully where we find fucking Idril. Hi there! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> I love their spin off the cliffs. It's fun. All right, here we are at the cave. Well, at least the beginning of the cave. Cutscene. Ah. Are you all right? I might need a moment. All right. You cannot delay. When you find Idril, escape to the west. Have a second chance at life. Yeah. I've already lived two lives. What do you mean by that? I was born somewhere near Umber. At Herodrin. That is a long way from Minasithil. Yes, it is. My order sent me to Gondor as a guarantee of peace. But the Herodrim had other enemies. I was to return, but... By the time I was ten, we lost contact. I lived a good life in Minasithil. I was respected. I was happy. And then it fell. So now you commence your third life. The only life that matters is the one with Idril. But we have to find her first. From the sound of that, are they a little sweet together? Or is this just an obligation? We don't know. Sounds like a bit of both. I'll admit. The Uruks use our soldiers as bait. Those are the lucky ones. Have you managed yeah. to free many of your brothers? Not enough. Some weeks we lose as many as we rescue. I don't know why we keep those pink skin. Well, more Gondorians. <laughs> and kill you. There we are. There we are. Perfect. And we do it from this angle to shoot you and shoot you. Well, that's dealt with. Please. Please. Captain Baranol, we did everything we could. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you did. Motherfucker. I can't talk. I'm sure you did everything you could. That's what I meant to say. You saved us, Reed. <sighs> Fight begins. Hi there. <laughs> Fuck you. In particular. Well, where's the other guys? Where's your other buddy? He's just sitting there, not paying attention to the fact that this guy is burning behind him. That's fucking hilarious to me. Are you? Are you serious right now? You didn't. You didn't even notice at all. <laughs> wow. That is bad. I thought we were done for. My family thanks you, Ranger. Yeah. If you can find them. 
Thank you, Ranger. You're welcome. Alright, we got the fifth one over there. Alright. Alright. Defeat the captain, huh? There we are. Hi there. Fuck you. And you're dead. And we blow you up. <laughs> Whoop. Hi there. Who are you? I don't know you. At least not yet. You are something, alright. <laughs> you tried to block it, you idiot. That was not a good idea on your part. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> there we go. Oh, come on. Quit being an agile piece of shit. Oh, you're a, you're a vault breaker. Takara the Wanderer, huh? You sound familiar. I think I've seen you around before. Takara the Wanderer, huh? Flammable, vulnerable to stealth, fear of more guy flies, and exhaustion. Hmm. Eh, your strengths aren't actually all that good. Let's, uh, let's kill him. And... Oh, yeah. To be honest, I was getting a little bored and a little hungry. And now you're here. Yeah, about that. You ain't gonna live to see that. Ugh. Through the head and then the rest of the body. Ugh. That, that had to hurt. That had to hurt. Ugh. Ugh. At least for a couple seconds, that had to hurt. Oh, there's the Gondorian. Alright. Catch you, free. Time to spill some oil blood. Reach the final Gondorian. That has to be Edril. There's no way they would phrase it like that unless it's Edril. No? I'm in your day. Captain Baronor. Karis. Are there any others? Idril. She's alive. We were awesome. on our way to the fighting pits. And we were captured. She escaped. If I know Idril, that's where she's headed. She's alive? She's alive. And dead hope. We will find her. Well, at least we know she's alive. Bloodsport. Oh, hey! An entry for Baranor! It's the only home he has ever known. He is loyal, brave, grounded by a strong moral compass, and willing to give his life for his general. Captain Baranor rarely lets down his guard and lives by a strict military code. Well, we're going to find out in the latest DLC about all of that, aren't we? Which I, personally, cannot wait to try. It looks so cool. What the? You can starve, die of thirst, get stabbed by a drunk orc, but you're never leaving here alive. What the fuck, guy? What the fuck? That's a fucked up thing to tell people. Posh. Posh Gravemaker. He doesn't have a lot going for him, but then again, he doesn't have a lot of weaknesses, either. Eh, yeah, well, uh, Let's see how he grows. Do I have my right equipment? Do I have the equipment I want? I do. When did I have market things? Huh. Did I get... I did get a spoils of war chest. That explains it. Okay, let's open it up before I do that. Because these things are going to change drastically in next month, so I want to make sure I see what I get before they completely fuck up. I wouldn't say fuck up. More, more of a justifiable change that we wanted from the beginning. Anyway, Kuga the Bonecracker. Alrighty. We got... 
Maku the Poker. That's a hell of a name. Also, he's got very little weaknesses. Very little strengths, too, but I mean, what can you do? Alright. And let's check out Amug Blood Drinker. Oh, he's good. He is very good. Very few weaknesses. Quite an array of strengths here. Poison Master and Gang of Elite Savages. Oh, wow. This is a cool guy. This is a cool guy. Typically not really a fan of the Slaughter Tribe, but this guy's a pretty good one. This one's pretty good. All right. Let's get out of here for the moment. All right. And let's go after the one in front of us right now. Who is flammable and vulnerable to stealth. All right. Now, let's do the stealth one. Hi right there! <laughs> Alright. And... Let's see how you grow from here. Oh, is it now? Let's see. I didn't... Didn't really earn anything, but you lost a weakness. You lost... Flammable. That's good. That's good enough. You're enraged by burning, too, so... That's, that's probably a good thing. Alright. Let's command you to do something. Uh, let's do that. Well, Zugro the Mad's down. So is Grook Eye Gouger. And Takra the Wanderer. So let's send him... Let's send him on a fight that he might win. Mog the Sneak, huh? Fiery Machine Tracker. Well, I mean, he's enraged by fire, and this guy is mainly fire. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how that turns out. There we go. Oh, fuck you. You ain't, you ain't leaving. There we go. I had to break the fucking gate first. Ow. I thought I hit the button. On time. Guess I didn't. Okay, fuck you. Oh, come on. Fuck you. Oh, uh, fuck off. Alright. Well, we did the thing. Did the thing that I wanted. Did multiple other things that I wanted. Okay. Fuck it. I'm just gonna end these guys and call it a day. Perfect. Really? You survived that? Impressive. Alright. And... There. Alright, now I can end the episode. Because we've done pretty much everything I wanted to do. Uh, we helped rescue Baranor. We did a uh, killing mission for, uh, well, some spoils of war. Opened up the chest before they drastically change and uh yeah yeah we have a we have a lead on where Idril is and we'll see what the relationship between Baranor and Idril is because it seems something's up there and I, I kind of want to figure out what it is it seems like you know just I promised your father but at the same time it's like there's might be something else there we'll find out anyway Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and rescuing Baranor. Finding out where Edril is and fucking around with some Uruks. Because why the fuck not? They're there to fuck around with. For you.